Do you find compression confusing? Okay, so here's compression 101. Compression reduces the dynamic range, evening out the loud parts with the quiet parts. A great way to think of this is with a snare drum. The initial cracking transient of the drum, that's the loudest part, whereas the following body of the sound of the snare drum, that's the quieter part. Dialing in your threshold will tell your compressor at what volume you want it to kick in, and your ratio will tell it, once it has kicked in, how much you want it to turn it down by. When it comes to setting the attack times, think of that initial transient of the snare drum. A slower attack time will preserve it, whilst a faster attack time will dig into that transient and even out the sound more, but can lead to a dull, unlifeless snare drum. And when it comes to setting a release time, look for that gain reduction meter to be returning just about to zero before it digs in again. That's gonna allow your drum to breathe. Asking yourself what you want your compressor to achieve before you drop it on the track is always a good idea. Don't forget, follow Real Home Studio for more.